how do you convert the current tick in a Uniswap pool to a human readable price? We can see that in slot zero here of the wrapped BTC wrapped ether pool on Uniswap. And when we click query, you can see the current tick is 257,100. Now looking at that, that means absolutely nothing. How do we make that a price like what we see here? So let's say wrapped BTC to wrapped ether. Now that tick is equivalent to this exchange rate, but how do we do that with code? How do we do that with JavaScript? I've gotten some questions about this, so I wanted to make a really quick video. First, I'll show you the best way to find a pool's contract. If you go to info.uniswap.org, you can see all the pools and you can see the total value in those pools as well. You can also see that for the same pool, there exists actually, well, multiple pools at different fee tiers. We won't get into that, but let's find the wrapped BTC wrapped ether pool. We can choose the 0 0.05 fee tier. And if you click this little button over here, that will actually open up the contract on Etherscan. So let's write some code that converts this tick value to a human readable price with JavaScript. Let's go. I have a directory here with some files already set up. In my .emv file, I only have one environment variable, and that is my infura mainnet URL. I have get price here we'll, where we'll be writing our code, and then I have package.json where I just have a few libraries installed. I have v3 periphery from Uniswap, and I have version 1.4.0 of that. Use that version, or you may run into errors. I have Uniswap's v3 SDK. I have .env, so I can pull values from that .env file. I have ethers, as usual, for interacting with the blockchain. And we have JSBI, so that we can work with really large numbers in JavaScript. And use this version, 3.2.5. I tried some other versions, and I was you know, running into hard to debug errors with them. Start by importing ethers, const ethers equals require ethers. Then import JSBI. So const JSBI equals require same thing, JSBI. And again, you really should use version 3.2.5. I spent a lot of time wasted trying to get this to work with other versions. And then you're going to need a few um, helper functions from Uniswap's v3 SDK. So we want tick math and we want full math. And we'll require at Uniswap v3-sdk and unintuitively you also need the v3 periphery installed for this to work. I'm not sure why but it must be a dependency thing. Now we'll import .env so require .env .config and now let's use .env to pull my infura mainnet URL from that .env file const infura url mainnet equals this is the syntax for pulling a value out process.env dot whatever you named it in that file and you'll need to add your own infura url to that file or it's going to fail this requires creating an account on infura if you don't already have one now we decided to use the wrapped BTC wrapped ether pool. So we'll need the addresses for both of the tokens on that pool. And if you hop back over to the contract on Etherscan and you scroll down to the bottom of the contract read contract section, you can see token zero 
and you can see token 1. And I know that token 0 is wrapped BTC and token 1 is wrapped Ether, but if you click on those, that will take you to the that contract as well. Well, let's just do one. You can see that this one is for the wrapped BTC token. So let, let's get these into our file. So const base token equals and this is wrapped BTC oops should be base token and quote token and when I talk about base token and quote token here I am referencing let's hop over to Uniswap for a sec this is the base token the input token and this is the quote token the output token So I just copied those from Etherscan. You would also initialize the pool locally in JavaScript and then pull the token zero and token one addresses from that up to you. Now we'll need a provider and we'll need to connect it to mainnet. So we'll do const provider equals new ethers dot providers json rpc provider and we'll just pass in that infer URL of mine. And now let's create the main function we'll, where we'll be writing most of our code. Well, where we'll be writing all the rest of our code. So we'll make this a sync function, we'll call it main. And we're going to take a bunch of arguments here. We'll pass in the base token, we'll pass in the quote token, and we're talking about the addresses here. We'll pass in the input amount. So that is like the input amounts when you're using the Uniswap app. In our case, we're going to set this to 1 BTC, but here we're just defining the arguments. We'll do that in a moment. The current tick, which is the tick that I showed you that's available from the swap pool contract. We'll need the base token decimals and we'll need the quote token decimals and here I'm just talking about how like wrapped uh, BTC has or uses eight decimal places and wrapped ether uses 18 decimal places. Mo almost all of the ERC20 tokens are 18 decimal places, but some like, you know, wrapped BTC or USDC use other numbers of decimals. Now our code is going to go here, but before we get to writing that, let's call this function and let's declare the values that we're going to be passing in. So we'll pass in our base token, which we defined above, and our quote token. Again, this is wrapped BTC and this is wrapped Ether contracts. Then the amount, the input amount will be one wrapped BTC. The current tick, let's go grab this now from Etherscan. And if we go to slot and we click query, we can see that this is the current tick. So just copy that into our file and the base token decimals, while wrapped BTC uses eight decimal places and wrapped ether uses 18. Now let's get to writing our code. Now the goal of some calculations we'll be doing here is so that we can pass them to this function, div rounding up, and that will take ratio x192, I'll explain these in a second, base amount, and shift. So ratio x192 is the price ratio between the two tokens, and it's 192 bits. The base amount is just the amount in way of the input token, and the shift 
is the value 1 shifted 192 bits to the left. It will make more sense what these are as we calculate them. But when we do call this, it will give us our quote amount. And then we can console.log this quote amount. And that will be in way. So let's actually convert it to a string and then divide it by 10 to the power of the number of decimal places in the quote token, the value out token, so that we can see our output in ether rather than in way, which is uh, going to be a really big number, which is hard to read. Now let's calculate these three values. First things first, we pass the tick to the tick math function, so const square root ratio x 96 not to be confused with the ratio x 192 and here we say tick math dot get sqrt square root ratio at tick and here we pass in the current tick and this essentially gives us the square root of this value. So once we have this, we can say const ratio x192 equals jsbi, because we're dealing with large numbers here, multiply, multiply, and we'll just pass this number in twice because the way to unsquare root a number is to multiply it by itself. And I believe the reason that Uniswap likes to deal with square roots of values rather than the values themselves is just because it saves space. Now let's calculate the base amount. Const base amount equals JSBI dot big int and for this we take the input amount and then we multiply it by 10 to the power of the base token decimals and this converts our 1 BTC to the like way equivalent of it. That's it for the base amount, pretty easy. And lastly, we're almost done here. I know this is unintuitively straightforward. We'll say const shift equals JSBI dot left shift. And then in here, we're going to pass the value of one as a JSBI. So JSBI dot big int one. And then the second argument that we pass in is JSBI big int 192 and this just shifts that one 192 bits to the left which is useful because we're working with a 192 bit price ratio now assuming I didn't make any typos this should work so let's run this in the console with node and the name of the file which is getprice.js and this tells us that for one wrapped Bitcoin in, it should be equal to 14.62 wrapped Ether out, given the current tick value. Now let's compare this to what we see in the Uniswap app. One wrapped BTC in is 14.61 wrapped Ether out, so it works. Now as this is, this will just work where token 0 on the pool is the base token and token 1 on the pool is the quote token. If you want to get the price in the other direction, the easiest way is just to invert the price. But alternatively, most of the code here is based on Solidity code that I found and rewrote in JavaScript in Uniswap's Oracle library. I'll show you where that is. From Uniswap, if you go to the V3 periphery, 
and then contracts, libraries, Oracle library, The code that we wrote together is really a simplified version of this solidity function, get quote at tick. And you could rewrite this function in full to be able to get the price of swapping tokens either way. And alternatively, you could also just import this library into a solidity contract, deploy that, and then make requests to that contract to get the current price based on the tick. There are a lot of options here. That's it. Give this video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have questions and I'll see you next time.